So let's talk about hacking versus ethical hacking. Now, as I travel around, I usually I'm that annoying guy in the airplane that you know introduces himself and says things like you know so where you go what do you do for a living and usually it comes back around where they say so what do you do for a living Dale and I tell them I'm I'm, a, I'm an instructor I'm a trainer uh, and I train different types of technologies and when we get around to the ethical hacking they kind of look at me like really ethical hacking that sounds like an oxymoron and. I kind of see that, but you have to understand or have a good definition of what hacking is. So let's talk about that for a second. Hacking, as defined, is basically taking an object. It could be a computer. It can be an operating system. It can be hardware. It can be a person. We call that social engineering, which we'll talk about in another module. But we take those objects, and we are able to make them do something that they weren't necessarily designed to do. So to kind of give you a, an example, back back in the day I had an Xbox and um, had a lot of games and I got really tired of having to deal with different CDs all the time. So I went, and this was a pretty in-depth hack, I had to actually purchase this special chip and I had to solder it into my Xbox. And then I had to download some software. And what it did for me is it allowed me to put in a bigger size hard drive. I think I put like a 500 gig in. And then I was able to rip my game CDs and store them on the hard drive and actually play them from the hard drive. It actually launched a different OS than the Xbox OS. And I still kind of do the same thing today. I, whenever I buy a, an Android phone or any type of uh, ta Android tablet, I'm a big Android guy, the first thing I do is I go through and root it so that I can actually use the hardware to my advantage. Now, I would consider that ethical hacking. Some people might have questioned that. Uh, I know a lot of uh, manufacturers have tried to stop people from doing it. Recent court cases have come out and said, you know what? Basically, the consumer has purchased the product. They can do whatever they want with it. I can tear apart an Xbox if I want to tear it apart. I can smash it into pieces if I want to. So I should be able to make modifications if I want to. And until someone starts giving me a free phone, our free Xbox, I'm going to continue to do those things. But when it comes to the major difference between hacking and ethical hacking, you have to find out, first of all, if, if what you're doing in any way breaks any type of cyber laws or commits an Internet crime. Uh, there are tons of laws out there, not just in the United States but worldwide. Each country has its own cyber laws. The concept here, or the thing that you got to be tricky about, or that's tricky about this concept, is that many times when you do a hack or when a hacker attacks you, uh, he's actually in violation of two counts of that law. And the reason behind that is because, first of all, you can use a computer in the commencement of a crime, and then if you're attacking a computer that target, getting into the information or getting into that machine without permission is also a separate crime. So there's a double uh, whammy there for the user if they get caught. So you want to ask yourself, you know, is the thing that I'm about to do, let's say that you learn something really fun and interesting This the, during these modules, you learn how to go through and uh, do an SQL injection. Well, if you try to do that SQL injection against somebody's network that you don't have permission to, you're going to be in trouble. So that would be hacking. Ethical hacking, I'm going to use these same skill sets and try to do an SQL ejection attack against my SQL server and see if that works or doesn't work. Or maybe I hire somebody to come in to do a pen test or a penetration test, which is just going through and pretending like they're a hacker trying to get in. I have, I've given them permission, therefore I'm ethical at that point. We also have to be concerned about intellectual property. If your goal is to take intellectual property or modify intellectual property, again, you're going to be in trouble. This is the big thing that we're trying to protect nowadays. And so a lot of ethical hackers are going to go through and see what information is exposed. And believe it or not, information gets exposed. I don't care what you have out there deployed, something can be exposed. So if you were to take a look at ethical hacking, it's basically the process of going through and testing and checking a network infrastructure for any type of possible loopholes or vulnerabilities. And we'll talk about vulnerabilities here in just a second. 